Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 7th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Sunday, April 11th will be our new moon, so no use looking for the moon in the night sky. Let's take a look at drought again and see what's going on. After our big thump of snow and two, three inches of rain across the state, going week to week, not much change. You can see some of the drought has lessened in the eastern plains and along the front range, so that's better. I'll take anything. Nationally, you can see very similar. Most of the relief is here, right where that storm got cranked up. And there we go, a little bit of change there, a little bit worsening drought up in the northern Midwest, Michigan area, a little worse out in the west. But well, maybe in the spring we'll start to see moisture return both in the west and in the plains. Speaking of not a lot of moisture this last week, looking over the last seven days from Fort Collins, down to Colorado Springs, just small amounts, tenth of an inch or so, a few spots, a quarter of an inch, a little bit more over here, but it was a pretty dry week. Our next system is rolling through uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, and it's on its way out uh, come Wednesday morning. A little bit of wraparound, so you'll see some clouds, light sh shower chances. The front's all the way down into Texas. I think this precipitation is overdone on the map. It's pretty much done Tuesday night. The story is by Thursday morning that system will be off into the uh, Midwest. We got a ridge building rapidly over Colorado again with another system kind of coming into the Pacific Northwest, but it looks like that one's going to stay further to the north. So over the next 10 days, our normal high temperature rises from 59 to 61. Below now finally breaks freezing and our normal low temperature is above freezing. I don't know if this is the time to turn sprinklers on. I think most people in Colorado along uh, Denver, Fort Collins, Fort, uh, Colorado Springs, I think they wait till Memorial Day. I'll have to look that up and mention that next time. There are Tuesday afternoon showers here little bit of chance of shower with that next system coming in in the Pacific Northwest right now, but most of the runs of the model of the GFS do not show anything happening. And next week, Monday through Wednesday, looks a little more unsettled. You can see temperatures really in the normal, hitting the top there, and then kind of settling into the chilly side of normal beyond that. So let's get this into motion. There's our Tuesday storm rolling around and heading out. Our ridge comes back in on Thursday. Here's the Friday system passing to our north. A little bit of energy clips the state, and the ridge is right back for the beginning of the weekend. And then another trough comes in, digs in a little bit more Monday, and you can start to see this more broader trough starting to kind of form in the west. We get a cutoff low by Wednesday. And we're on the southwest flow side of it, so that should keep us a little warmer, start bringing some moisture in. But then the low kind of drifts by. Since it is cut off for a while there, anything could happen. So we've got to keep an eye on that. For cold air, most of the nation is baking and above normal temperatures, except us. The beginning of the cycle, that little ripple of cool air heads on out. Here's our Thursday, Friday ripple of cold air. A little cold front comes down on Saturday, and it goes off pretty quickly. We're back to the heat on Sunday and another ripple comes in with that kind of double lobed trough that comes in but definitely a clear cold front Tuesday and Wednesday spreading down into Texas. Some good cold air north of us middle of next week and the heat is never far away though especially on the western slopes. For precipitation there's a little bit of that wraparound on Wednesday. See it's not quite as heavy and this model one is that and drawn model pad. Then going to Friday, Saturday, there's little showers in Wyoming and they're gone. After Saturday, into Sunday, and then Sunday into Monday, there's a little bit in the mountains, maybe on the plains, but it's gone within a few hours. Nothing big and organized by Tuesday, Wednesday. Pretty good storm north of us, but the low looks like it's going to track in a way that doesn't favor us much until Thursday, Friday. So that's very far out. We're really going to just have to see what happens. So the GFS over the next 10 days has about a half inch, two, three quarters of an inch. That's all in that later storm system next week. 
and for snow you get maybe a coating in that time period with mainly southern Wyoming and the northern mountains getting the, the better snow. On the next seven days go from 60s to 70s on Thursday cool down with that next little ripple to be below 60 Saturday we bounce back up to 70 then that next low comes in and we're back in the 50s and then 60s and our chances of showers kind of pick up again Sunday and into next week. Nothing big and organized, nothing really cold. Um, we're just kind of transitioning happily into spring. For frequent weather updates and local news, check out Longmont Leader at longmontleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.